Hey guys, in this video I'm going to attempt to repair this Type 26-2 that had a short in the base and see if I can bring a 16 GP4 pitcher tube back to life. If you haven't already seen my video called Potluck Picture Tube, I suggest you watch that before continuing on with this video. Alright, so if you recall, uh, when I tested this tube, all the short light immediately lit up as soon as I put it in the socket. And uh, I pulled off the base and discovered that this wire was actually wrapped around and it was making contact with some of the other wires. So I untangled it. You can see it's a bit longer now. It's because of the extra length that was wrapped around inside the base. And now I'm going to reattach the base. Uh, now if you're wondering how do you know which wire goes to what? Well, in a tube this basic, when you've only got four pins and you can see right inside, it's actually fairly easy to trace it out. Also, it seems to be standard that the two inner pins are the filament. And as for the two outer, well, if you trace around this long one here, the one that was shorted, you can see it's on the uh, far right there, that goes to the plate. And the other wire goes up inside to the grid. I also double check that in the tube basing diagram. So base goes on with the two larger pins being the filament. So it should go on like so. So I'm going to take some fine sandpaper, oh, like 320 grit, and clean these leads up a bit and tin them with a little new solder. And then I'll push the base on and I will hold it in place with some Permatex. The original epoxy type glue that they used is actually in pretty decent condition. There's no chunks broken out. So I don't have to worry about filling in the large void that there sometimes is between the Bakelite base and the glass. Now as for getting the base on, well with only four leads it's not that bad. I spaced them out to more or less in a square pattern and let's see, these two are the filament, so two larger pins in the base here, so it's going to go in like so. There we go. So I'm going to spread a little glue on there and push this base on. Glue takes a few hours to really cure up, but uh, after, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, it's, it's, it should be on good enough that I can try testing the tube. I put a thin bead of the Permatex around the base and Pushed it down good, and now I am going to solder in the pins. So when I do this, I try to heat up the side of the pin and feed down solder inside the hollow. <laughs> Shaking a bit because the tube keeps moving on me. Is I just got it stuck in the end of a paper towel. I think if I'll brace it. A little better. There we go. And you do not want to burn yourself because I've done that many times by touching these pins while they're still really, really hot. Right, just touching that one up a little bit. That should do it. So, is that worth the time and effort? Let's find out. Two, one point four, and two, three, down four. All right. Short light's not on. That's a good sign. Previously, that would come on immediately. I think the filament's glowing. These don't glow that brightly, so it can be a little hard to see. Alright, so 
Let me do all the shorts tests. No shorts. And how about that? Alright, so, as I said before, if you come across tubes that test bad, have shorts, whatnot, it's worth pulling the base off and investigating, especially for rarer or more valuable tubes. Now, for that pitcher tube. Okay, now for the pitcher tube. Just looking at the neck here to see if it's been rebuilt. It's possible. There's a bit of a, a pinch here in the glass. Uh, I'm also looking around for a label. No, just don't see a number on it anywhere, but like I was saying, I'm pretty sure it's a 16 GP4. Now, before I do anything drastic, I am going to make another attempt at touching up these pins here. Although, it looks to me like they're making pretty good contact all around. And if that fails, here is the technique I'm going to try, like I did before on a 16KP4 while restoring my Sentinel 430 TV. Basically, you use the remove shorts function to try to weld the uh, cathode back on. It's a pretty crude process. It's a fairly dangerous process, too. What you do is basically you crank the filament up higher than normal so it gets red hot and then you simultaneously hit the remove shorts function which puts the blast to high voltage through the electron gun elements and you hit it. <laughs> you lightly tap the neck while you're zapping it with something like this. And that's why it's dangerous, because if you hit this too hard, it could shatter. Especially on these, because you've got this glass metal interface here, which you're prone to leak. Um, but uh, so first I'll uh, try touching up these pins one more time. I touched up these pins again, and I'm confident they're all making really good contact now. And I still have absolutely no emissions. Uh, it just occurred to me there is one other possibility and that's that my CRT tester has ceased to function correctly so the next thing I'm going to do is pull out a tube I know is good and make sure this is measuring emissions properly. I hooked up this 10 BP4 which I know is good and yeah the meter is working fine so you guys are going to get what you asked for you're going to see me whack this pitcher tube and try to bring it back to life. Okay, here we go. Put the rejuve to position and allow it to warm up for 60 seconds. This does actually... Now these instructions are actually for a different model. A CR31, I have a CR70, so... Some of this is a little different. Like it says put the beam builder function switch to the rejuve to position. Um, I think that's the equivalent of the manual to restart position on this. I really hate doing this too because it cranks up the filament juice. But that's what they say to do. The filament's glowing really bright white now. So 60 seconds. Then switch over to remove G1 short. Hit the red button and whack the, uh, the CRT all at the same time. Having three hands would be real handy right about now. And we're supposed to watch for a flash in the CRT neck. I'm going to cut the lighting down a little bit. Make it easier to see. Alright, I think it's been about 60 seconds. So, here we go. Did not see a flash, but uh, it might have worked. Let's see. Last time I did this, it took me like 15 tries to get it to work. So, yeah, it doesn't seem to have worked. Alright, we try it again. I 
Alright, I spent about half an hour on this and I just couldn't see any flash in there. I had it lying on its side, I had it vertical, I tried hitting it from all different angles, altered my timing, altered the force, and uh, just no luck. So now I'm starting to think maybe there is another culprit. Because I've been studying the structure inside and it looks to me like the cathode is attached. It's this pin down here, it goes down inside, and I can pretty well see it going down inside of the electron gun, and it looks okay. So I'm thinking that, well, maybe the actual wire is broken somewhere inside here. I can see the end of it here, and I got it soldered into the pin, but maybe there's a break down in here somewhere, so I'm going to try to get this base off. Unfortunately, it's on there real tight. The one, one time when I want to have a loose base and I don't, so I'm going to unsolder these pins and then use a screwdriver and gently tap all around and see if I can pop this base off. I finally got the base off and crap everything looks fine so, <laughs> still puzzling over what could be wrong now it could still be one possibility I mentioned in the early videos that the cathode is completely worn out maybe somebody tried the rejuvenation feature one too many times and completely blew off all the cathode surface I don't know uh, but at least one thing I can do now is I can clip my test leads directly onto these to eliminate any possibility of any bad solder joints in the base. Nope, still nothing. I even tried whacking it a few more times and still nothing. So I am going to admit defeat for now. Can't win them all. I will take some photos and describe the situation and do some posting online and maybe get some suggestions or if any of you out there have some thoughts uh, otherwise I'm just gonna shelve this for now